kind of chaotic but it um, it showed me just how much like I was capable of Open you take that jump you don't feel the fall Hope when the water rises you build I think it gives the team a better um, ability to bond with each other Open the crowd screams out screaming your name Hope if everybody runs Losing at a competition doesn't determine your worth. I'm talking to everyone on the team. I feel like it's like our last moment to shine a senior. Football season is a whole season dedicated to AMO. And you get to hype up the football players, and at pep rallies, you get to hear tempo, and ROTC gets to run around with the little AMO flags. But for us, football season is where we wear our uniforms and get to perform at halftime. The first time I put the uniform on was like for summer pictures, and that was just like the weirdest experience. Because I didn't even know how to put like the, the, the right skirt on. I was like, what is the wrap skirt? What is the flare? And they're like, I prefer this one. And I was like, what's the difference? But then it just, it felt so surreal. So we start at the beginning of July with like two weeks of practice for camp, which is at the end of July. You learn all of your football routines. We start football practices, which is where we start. Um, basically they like reteach it to us, the officers. And once they've retaught it, then we try it. Out for it. You wake up at 7.30 and you go to practice and you're either going to learn one dance you're doing or you're going to be practicing and getting yard lines for a dance you're already doing. Friday is the fun day because you wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning-ish, which is, seems horrible, but you go to the stadium, the sunrise is pretty, and then you go through it with the band, which is actually really fun. And then after that, you get to get ready and go get breakfast. And then we come back, take little pictures if it's pep rally day, and then go, go to school. And then we have a football game. You do the home and away games. Pep rally days are the best because you do like a pep rally with your team and then you're already ready. So you get more time to like take pictures and eat and like zone in and, you know, get, get all ready for the football game that's coming up. Um, and then you get to walk to the stadium and walk with the band, walk with the ROTC and then go down to the field and then get um, victory lines and then cheer and whatnot. We'll go back to the um, stands, do some stand dances, which are little short dances that you do with the band. Bless up to bands. I am so grateful that they are playing for us. Thank God it came on my senior year because it's just a very different feeling having the music like come from behind you and have like, the interaction between us, like the band and the drill team, it just really feels like this beautiful like ending piece when you get to bring both organizations together. In like years where we just had music, things would cut out, things wouldn't go like as planned and then having like the music from the band and like feeling it while you're dancing was really, really nice again. After halftime, we go back up to the stands and this is the point of time during the game where all the socials get together and they get to decide on who they've seen the week leading up to the football game, who's had a really good spirit during practice. In addition to Spear Girl of the Week, there's also Pace Center of the Week. POW is actually decided by the team. And those get announced right after we do traditional on the field, they get announced like over the speakers. So it's like a really cool way to be recognized. <laughs> Major differences between last year and this year is obviously we have a new director. 
um, which is great. And I feel like she does a great job, like, keeping the same tradition, but we can adopt some more um, newer things and, like, what's weird, like trends, I guess, going on now rather than the same old traditions as the last few years that we've been doing. I had never done a 10 game season before, so I was definitely nervous about that. But once we were in it, I felt like the girls were so helpful in helping me to understand how everything had rolled previously, and we were able to take that and run with it. It's football season, everyone thinks is our biggest, busiest time, but it's definitely our easiest and our most relaxing time. But overall, I felt like it was a huge success, and I had so much fun at the games with the girls, learning all their traditions, and just learning everything about pace setters. Between last year and this year, I think because we've had two different coaches, Coaches, I've been able to experience two different like environments. The team culture is different this year. We very much love each other like heavily more than we used to I feel and I think everyone is just more positive and funny and we're all close. I didn't really get that the last three years but since I feel like me and my class are like the oldest we can like connect with everyone younger than us. Energy was good this year, and last year energy for me wasn't good. But I kind of get football, so it's better. I actually knew how, like, how football worked and how like the game was played. So I was able to understand like why they were getting touchdowns, like how like, just things like that. I feel like we were more involved with all of the other groups that were there. Like we were more involved with band. Like we talked to them more. We had we had more relationships within within band. Same with ROTC, we had more relationships. I I would even say like some of the football team. Like we were very involved this year. And so I think that that changed it because the dynamic of everybody was like, we're not separate groups. We're all here cheering for one thing. And it felt very present this year. The night we had a football game and it got rained out in like the first five minutes. Everyone was just going crazy. We were all like just drenched. We had sang, when the sun shines, we shine together. No, let that song the umbrella song when it was pouring rain on all of us. And we're like in our like full like warm ups. That was just such a fun time. And for Friday Night Lights and you're sitting in the stands with your friends and you're just enjoying yourself, it's less stressful than some other seasons like maybe contest season or spring show, but it's really involved with the rest of the school. And like you have a lot of school spirit. The reward of football season is worth the stress. Just getting to perform, feeling that adrenaline when you step onto the field um, is really rewarding. You practice, practice, practice for like a reward and then you practice and practice. But the practices are like hard. Competition season. Um, competition season is probably the hardest season. Competition season is hard. Competition season is definitely the most testing season. Competition season is probably my least favorite season only because so much work goes into it. Competition season looks stressful. <laughs> Competition season um, is where we learn four, four dances. And they're more advanced, they're gonna be faster, um, they're gonna be our traditional, uh, drill team style, so you've got palm, jazz, and military, and then we do a team novelty. Those are like the four dances that you work on from November till March. So you're constantly working on something? The same four dances over and over and over and over and over again. That's it. And then we try out for those before competition really even starts. And then if you make all those, you go through like a cleaning process, but the cleaning process is like... It's a lot on your body, it's a lot on your mind. And because when you're constantly just doing the same thing over again, it's, it can like drain you mentally. These dances we clean more than any other dances we clean. So it can be kind of tedious and the most draining I think for the team. But it's solely so that you can go out there and feel comfortable and confident with what you're putting out there against these other teams who are also spending the exact same amount of time on it. I talked to one of the girls the other day and they were like, we do it full out a lot, but it's actually a good thing, but you didn't hear me say that. And so <laughs> that made me really happy. That's how we feel prepared and that's how a dance can look unison. If everyone's doing the exact same thing, when it comes down to the smallest detail, that's what takes something from like, oh, it's cute, to that was really good and really together. A practice is at 7.30 in squad lights and you stretch and 
then we all like chat for a little bit and then we go and dance, we laugh, we don't take it seriously, we do take it seriously. At the end of the day, you have to find the good in the practices, which I feel like was like breaks and like being able to like go off and talk to people and then like having those little moments of like a break and like breathing. We just go in and like mega clean it. We'll like break off into sections and each different officer will have a different part of the dance even. You definitely test your endurance, your dedication, your strength, but it's really worth it when you get to the contest date and all of your teammates and you are working your absolute hardest to overall like try your best and it's not really as much about like winning honestly i like that it kind of kept like a, a constant like movement of like practice like go home come back to practice and you know what you were working on versus in football season like every day could be different and even though it's the same dances over and over again it's just working to improve yourself to like get to that level where you finally get to competition season. Hey guys, it is show off day. It is currently, my watch is dead. 9.49. It is 9.49, we've been here since eight. Um, do you think they'll let me bring my pigs? <gasps> so so we we show off. I wanna say yes. Hey, we're performance ready, solos just went. So this year we decided to do a combined show off throughout the entire district. What better way to support all five Wiley ISD drill teams and our programs alike than to just combine us for one night, one big community moment. I think like that show offs this year was the best one that like we've had because we were the most prepared and we didn't have to quick change as much. And I was really proud of what our girls did, what Wiley East did, what all three of our middle schools were able to put together. I mean, it was a beautiful night of dance and I was really excited to see drill team highlighted in that way. Something else that was new this year was we got to perform at basketball games. Uh, we added a basketball performance this year and it was really well received and I think it was nice to get those jitters out of the way. It's constant! Yay! Yeah! 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 Look at Queen Butler. Oh, I'm nervous. And competing. Oof. It's a long day. We get at the school at 7.30, maybe earlier, and you're going to be at the school that you're competing at until like, what, 10, 11? So it's a really long day, but it's where you get to show off all of the hard work that you put in. Quick changes are stressful. The fact that there's judges watching you and scoring you is stressful. Jeez, it's really stressful, but also I love getting to watch everyone, like, especially when I get to see, like, officer dances or solos and duets. It's so fun to just see, <laughs> shout out to Butler and Noel's duet, because I love it, and I love anything that's, like, musical theater, <laughs> and it's so cute. No, it's just fun to see how everyone dances and just see how, or just how fun it is to interact with everyone, even though we're, like, sleep deprived and we all got up really early, and we're, like, literally dying <laughs> it's it's fun i love we did our first competition and uh it was with adts in rockwell heath and the girls did a great job it was the best i've ever seen them perform all of those routines and so i walked away super super proud of everything that we accomplished and now we are doing the same thing nitpicking once again making a few adjustments and changes based on our feedback from the judges getting us ready for nationals at the end of march Nationals was definitely harder than I expected. We were just up against so much good competition and like just the level of talent was really through the roof. It was really impressive, but also it was kind of hard for us. <laughs> Nationals was definitely too late in the year in my opinion though, because here is the issue. We were kind of still in contest season when we should have really been moving into spring show. So we were a little bit less prepared at the beginning of our spring show season. So that was a little stressful. Everything worked out completely fine though. It was fun. It was tiring though. I'm glad it's over. That's all I have to say. My favorite part competition season has been, um, I'm trying to think. Honestly, I don't really like competition season. So it's like hard for me to find the favorite part about it. But I've liked, I like contest hosting. It's pretty chill this year. I read some books, ate some ice cream. It was good. Come on, come on. Oh. Good, they're struggling. Come on. Saturday practice, it was long. It was really long. I was stressed because up to this point, we had like, there were some dances we hadn't even let touch the stage yet. And so Saturday, I was flipping out the entire day. 
What did I just do? I don't know, I followed you. Go seven! I don't know what I just did. Hey guys. Five, four, six, four, seven. Saturday was our all-day practice that we were there from like 8 to 5, I believe. It was a long day. I feel like I did not sit down at all. I feel like I had two breaks besides lunch that I really got to sit down because besides that, I was in like almost every dance. It was the first time we had done all the dances in order of the show, which I think that's something really important is because everyone kind of got to start working on their changes and be like, okay, I have these back-to-back -back dances here. I'm going to have to quick change here. Oh, I have so much time in this act. Okay, I have this many dance in the first act, this many dance in the second half. So I think that was really beneficial for us to be able to kind of find those times and those places to like breathe and when we have to change. Four. Okay, let's do four. I like four better anyways. Seven, eight, two. <laughs> Nine hours of practice today. We did every dance. Hit yep. some more than others because others looked better. Hit, contagion. Five, front. Three, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, top, down. Let's all that. Yeah, it was really just like a day to like drill the dances and really make sure we know the dances before we get into tech week where we're more just running. Yeah. We basically kind of went through the show like piece by piece and we just kind of like worked on stuff. We worked on logistics of things. Um, we got a little lunch break in between. Uh, we got a lot done. We The hardest part of Saturday was just doing closer and we had to do some punishment kicks I think on Saturday. I feel like punishment kicks is a good way for people like the newer people who don't take it as serious to be like I know you don't like doing them so you're gonna go home and try and remember so you don't have to do more so it helps everybody so personally I like it but I'm a kicker so it just doesn't really matter but I know a lot of people don't but secretly it's for the better <laughs> Surprisingly, we only had to do closer twice full out today, and we only kicked for eight, eight counts at the end for mistakes, which is so much better because we started with 14, and in two days, we went down, what's 14 minus eight? Five? Hey, 14 minus eight? <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Eight, nine, four, 10, six. 11, 12, 13, 14, six. Ha! <laughs> I got there eventually. We went six, eight counts down. So, a lot of people were really tired on Saturday, but for me it like flew by and I was having so much fun. I was nervous for sure, uh, especially because our squad dance was, she was looking a little sketch and I was a little nervous to see if she pulled it all together. And um, it wasn't pulling together even on Saturday. Um, but beyond that, most of the dances, I mean, it's weird to um, do the blocking and everything and figure out like who's going where for what. Okay, I think I'm gonna be easy. It's just a little point, 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 point and then wrap clean. Let's do let's do wrap and wrap clean and then Well there's still some more time. Okay, what if okay, what if I was feeling a little bit stressed out about how things were looking. Things were looking like a little bit unfinished, a little bit messy, like we hadn't pulled it all together yet. What is your favorite color? Pink. What color is your butterfly, Cambry? Pink and sparkly. That was the very first time we did it in show order. That was scary. It was tiring. It was fun, though. It was really fun. Just tiring. Spread up more to the left. Five, six, seven, eight, one. It was a very productive day, in my opinion. Felt like we got out early, because normally when we go go to like all the practice or just tech week in general, it's so freaking long. But that day it was just like chill and we got through everything like pretty well and like it was a little spooky, like everything was a little bit like, okay, she gonna pull it together. But it's fine, you know, we still had a whole week 
and I just wanted to get done because it was Saturday and I didn't want to be in school. Mm, one day. Well, that was the first day, like, we just, like, ran through the show, if I remember correctly. I was kind of, like, confused, because I thought we were just going to go through, like, the first act and then just, like, go over it. But then she was like, oh, let's just go through the whole thing. And I was like, oh, okay. We went in thinking we were only going to do the first act. Ended up doing first act, giving notes, and it was only, like, what, six o'clock? And so then we were like, okay, you know what, let's do act two. It was exhausting. Um, because I have a lot of quick changes in Act 1, so it's a little bit stressful. So I was really tired and really scared. And it was so cool because all the squads were back to back. So you could go after opener and watch everyone do their squad dance. also really tiring because it was a lot shorter time than Saturday and we were just like it was the first time we really went in show order at the same time besides like costumes and everything but like back to back rather than Saturday it'd be like okay it's this dance okay go grab water go back up on stage it was more like okay this dance now lights go out now this dance like it was felt more like show than Saturday practice we're all okay well do not sit in the front row you can't see me there The stress yeah. levels could be up here, but they're only like here. Yeah, thanks because to Wallace. We know in the back of our mind that like Wallace will not let us go out there looking like crap. She mm -hmm. won't let it happen. Like she'll do everything in her power for the spring show to look good. Like I know, like if she's not feeling confident with something, it, she's gonna fix it. Yeah. And my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my savior. I am you. I think there's been um, a lot of changes, especially with Spring Show this year, now that we have a different director. So like things like the curtains being open for all of Spring Show right now, and the kickouts, we, like when we have to go that's kick new. eight counts for every mistakes we do. Yeah. That's new, but I think it's helping. Last year, we did, you know, we would rehearse all of our dances in the gym, but this year we got to rehearse all of them in the auditorium even before Tech Week which is, I just think something was so beneficial to us because we were able to understand the spacing um, and like the transitions better because we knew what wings we were coming out of and where we were supposed to be on the stage before we ever set, before we even started Tech Week. Hey. Right now, we're reblocking Paul. We just like literally, um, what's the word? It's the cafeteria. Because in years prior, normally, the first few days of tech, the first day of tech week is just straight spacing. Like you're just practicing where you're gonna go, what wings you're coming from. And like also Saturday practice, that's all the Saturday and the first day of tech week are is just getting spacing on the stage for the first time. And it really does slow you down a little because you have to, con you have to like go over that. But being able to do that beforehand was just like really nice because then we could go into tech week knowing exactly what it was supposed to look like and we could just run the dances over and over because there were no transitional or spacing issues because those had already been fixed. I actually feel so much better than I did last year. I think it's because the dances that I'm in, none of them are really like on my shoulders. Like, sure, I'm there if people need help, but like, I'm not gonna get blamed for anything if things go wrong unless it's my fault, I mess up. Like, last year I had a lot of responsibilities. This year I've been able to like enjoy it more. And I also really, really like the way that my dances are spread out. And that's way better than like, even in the second act, I have like eight dances, but they're, they're not back to back to back to back. I'm just kidding, I love you. Dang, girl. Yeah. I did not know the daddy daughter dance at all. So when they made us run through that, I was like, yeah, I was like, hey, hey. <laughs> just trying to follow Riley and just hope for the best.
Okay, pretty. And since we did act one and act two on Monday, um, I felt a lot more confident knowing that people kind of had an idea of how long we'd have in between each dance. It was a very productive day. We got act one and act two done on the stage, which is really great, because last year we were just like very behind on things and just trying to like push things like through and get them done as fast as possible without actually making sure they're like clean. We did the whole show on Monday. And it was a little bit tired, a little bit exhausting, a little bit scary. Um, I was a little bit nervous how things were gonna go. Tuesday was the first day we did it with costumes, um, like the whole show with costumes. That was fun. Um, it was a little bit chaotic trying to figure out how to change and get back on stage because I felt like I was like rushing. I was like throwing clothes on and off and I was nervous about getting on stage on time. It was very stressful doing all my quick changes. I know a lot of people were struggling with that. Um, and it's always like nerve wracking, not knowing if you're gonna like be able to make it on stage um, for your dances. So I was feeling a little bit stressed out about that. Very, um, like it really just started to feel, especially because we got into our costumes for the first time. So it really started to kind of hit me like, oh, like this is the first time doing the show full out in costume with all the changes, with the MCs, like all of it. We were able to basically practice, it wasn't a full dress rehearsal, it was just the costumes. But we were able to practice, okay, who's gonna help me quick change? Where do I need to set my stuff? What do I need to do to be successful and to get out for my dance on time? That was very helpful, because that's one of the most stressful things about Spring Show, is those quick changes, making sure you have everything ready and that you're like ready to go perform and you make it on time. Um, got a chance to really, really sort that logistics through about how you're changing. Oh yeah, that morning was very fun because I did not know where any of my costumes were. I was going to procrastinate until Wednesday because that was the original day for costumes. Um, and then I was just scrambling to find everything. And then I ran out of the house with, of course, like the, the famous American short pants <laughs> for daddy daughter. <laughs> We did a team prank, like a senior prank on the team. And it was really funny because we basically recorded ourselves singing one of our songs. We sang um, Rio Rio. And then we played it for the team. Like, well, like halfway through the song, it changed to the senior singing it. So it was really funny to get everyone's reactions because everyone thought like we were glitching out, but we were. Everyone was just like, what is happening? But it worked, people did it. So I mean, confused, don't abuse, you know? Like we had a set get out time, like that we were like, okay, we're not gonna make you dance past this long because you know, you still have to do school and like have stuff to get done. So that was really nice that we had that set time that we weren't going for like hours on end into the night. 
because that's just never good. This year we were just a lot more productive than last year. Like for example, we'd stayed, we didn't stay too late each night. We'd probably stayed till like maybe 8.39 maybe. Not too late, which is great. So I was able to go home like on time, get like really good rest, get my homework done. And I'll wake up like feeling exhausted and tired each morning. And we were also able to like, how do I say it, multitask, like get like certain part, like certain things happening while other things are happening, like maybe like, like work on this, like like elite hip hop, like work on something like in the cafeteria while another dancing like on the stage practicing. So it was a lot, a lot like, like, a lot like managing our time well, which is great. I thought practices would feel like really long and boring, but to be honest, they like went by really quickly. Um, and like running through the whole show felt like more relaxing to me than a usual practice, which is interesting. I was, I was starting to feel more in the spring show season because we were doing costumes, which was really fun. Um, and I was just feeling less stressed because at this point I was starting to enjoy it. I was starting to feel less like weight on my shoulders. I was starting to Take it all in. Yeah. My favorite scene is my group! Yeah! We did whole show again um, with costumes, little dress rehearsal. Um, it was just normal like the day before. I feel like we had a process for how we were going to do quick changes. I felt like the show was coming together. I thought the squads looked good. Um, senior was coming together a little bit more and social looked good and I was just feeling better about everything. And since it was the second time running the show, it really started to feel, okay, this is what's going to be happening, this is what needs to happen. Because the first time you run a show full out with costumes, there's so many malfunctions. But then the second time you run it full out with like costumes, you're like, there is a lot less, mal lot less malfunctions and so you're really like getting a feel for what's going to happen. You're really realizing, oh, this is it. Even though it wasn't intentional, we had a lot more like full run-throughs of the show than we had like years before. So that really made you feel prepared and like that you knew what you were doing for when the show actually came up. We we kind of did this last year too. We had some people come in. Um, and so we were like, hey, we should have some people come in. The extra coaches that came in, they were able to give the show one, a brutally honest thing. The, ma the main reason we wanted them to come in is to tell us that the show sh sucked. Like, that was the main reason we were like, does it suck? Like, what do we need to fix? They came in and they were able to give us notes that maybe Ms. Wallace and uh, Self had already said, but they weren't catching on to us because we were like, uh, maybe they were wording it in a different way. Or maybe, if there, there are coaches, sometimes we're like, they zone out. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes we just zone them out. We've been hearing a lot of like, we need more performance, more of this, but like, they gave like a lot more technical reviews because they hadn't seen us dance before and they were looking at the things that maybe we've gotten used to seeing um, and they were ca calling, us, calling us out for it, which is good. That's pretty much all the leaps that were uh, the highest leaps to the front throughout the whole show. That front foot was very flexed. Or it's going like flex point, but we're still seeing this happen first. <laughs> and then I'm also seeing flex feet and that split contagion that comes to the front. What did I tell you yesterday to do on the split contagion? Raise your hand. You guys were like, <laughs> and like we're at the last second. So the Wallace's friends came and they helped a lot, I feel. Um, especially during closer, they were like, you have to book it off the stage. And since they said that, we were like screaming at each other to get off stage. So it definitely helped. Get to move! Look at, look at Luna. You know the cone heads from that commercial? She's more of a cone head than me. I personally have never been in a show with MCs in it, like for spring show. I don't know, because normally we just do voice recordings. The voice recordings are kind of silly. I mean, they worked. It was just kind of silly. Well, originally I really wanted to do like one of those like I wanted to do one of the voiceover things, so it's kind of sad about not being able to do that this year. But I get why we had them because like in years past we'd have like very quick, quick changes, so it was really hard to like 
get dressed on stage, but this year I was able to take my time and like breathe and get me get some water, like maybe like fan someone if they were like really hot, help a friend out. So it's great to have like that extra time to get ready and like also like fix my makeup and hair if I needed to. Them being able to talk gave us extra time to change. With a voice recording, it is a set amount of time. If you're not done changing when the voice recording's over, there's no more voice recording. <laughs> like that's it, you're done. I liked the MCs um, because they allow for the story to be told and some people don't really understand the story that's being told. So it's a great way for like other people who don't like know dance that well and be like, okay, I can follow this and it makes sense. Um, so it was fun to get to work with them and see different things, but it was also really difficult because like we'd be backstage trying to change and then Hayden's like walking by and Hayden's like covering his eyes because he's like, we're changing. But it was, it was a cool experience. I think I enjoyed like having MCs, I think it took up more time too than our voice talking. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side. Is the The funnest part to me was like in the senior like dressing room. Like we all just started getting really comfortable with each other. Like oh, we got to like hang out more than we ever did like throughout the year. And just like joking around or singing random songs. Like it was just like just a fun time together. Friends said they were coming. Saturday is and not that too now they're not coming. Why aren't they coming? Why aren't they coming? It's later. Um, I think they're procrastinators really. Yeah. Just like us. They're just if not I had responsible. To buy a ticket, I probably wouldn't either. I was just so overjoyed to be in the senior dressing room. I don't know how to explain it. I was like, oh my God, we have our own space. I'm with all my friends. And then when anyone else came in there, I was like, get out of our space. It's a senior space. But I was like having so much fun. It was very interesting. We just were always like off the rails when we're together. So, and even though it was like kind of tight and like really hot in there, it was still fun. And I just love being with them, so. Thursday we did another full dress rehearsal Thursday was the time personally where I was over it because here's the thing normally we do act one Monday act one Tuesday we do like full show Wednesday and then we do dress rehearsal Thursday because we had done the show full like full with our costumes Tuesday and Wednesday and then Thursday was like okay last dress rehearsal I was just so tired of doing the show we did a lot more of running the show rather than practicing certain dances. Um, it was a lot more of repetition and making sure that things flowed smoothly. I felt more prepared. However, it like made me want spring show to actually come faster because every day I was just like, okay, like, where is it? It just felt so slow, but it was actually really fun. Like we had full lighting show, like uh, confetti cannons were going off and <laughs> it was just like crazy. It really just felt like the real thing. I can't even say that I was feeling like the nerves that it was about to be tomorrow because like the show was about to happen tomorrow because I felt more prepared than I had in a while. Like or for at least like this last year when we did it because we'd been running through the whole thing consistently, like for like the whole week. So it was nice and all the lights and everything just really brought it together. I think it's gonna go great. We seem very prepared. We're practicing every day, doing costumes since Tuesday, which is great. I think like we practice the show every single day, like the whole thing. So like, I hope it goes well <laughs> after all this practice. It has to, like there's no, there's no way. <laughs> I tried to help Nico, but I can't hold it. No, I tried to. After Thursday, I was not feeling stressed. I was ready. I was... That was bittersweet because it was our last practice. So Thursday was, like, kind of hard, especially for seniors. But, um... You know, it happened, and I felt good after Thursday. I was really stressed, tired, um, sad. 
but I felt really like proud of what we'd been doing because I was like pretty much what we're doing tonight is going to be the show tomorrow and so I felt in a good spot it was just like I want to do my best I want to put out my best like I want I think I was mostly stressed because I was like this is my last time dancing I want my last time dancing to end with a bang I don't want to feel like I could regret anything I don't want to look back on this and be like oh I regret this I should have done this better I could have done that I should have done this so I was more stressed that I just wanted the show to go perfect and so I was kind of feeling everything on Thursday night. I made a lot of mistakes while dancing like during novelty I just kind of stood there for a bit I did like two singles instead of like a double it was weird I just I w it was not a great day for me. There was like some weird memory things in the salsa part of novelty. Oh yeah sorry about that. Yeah <laughs> but you weren't the only one though. Never mind. So we had the biggest one but everybody else was a little memory I too. Had a um, act one is super solid, like super solid, simple, like looks really, really great, kind of across the board. Um, I need act two to flow like that. Make sure you're paying attention to what comes next. Um, closer is actual torture. Um, like, I don't know how to describe it, but I don't know how my leg goes up at the end there. Those killers, it is a miracle that I'm not falling on my butt. It so actually hurt the, it hurt the first time more for me yeah. because the first time I like just wasn't ready. I guess I hadn't, like from senior to, like I was taking my sweet time and I didn't really like get time to like stretch and like prepare. And my, mentally I'm doing good, but my legs are on fire. It feels like I just did a bunch of like squats. Mm -hmm. They did a bunch of kicks, so yeah, it's pretty close. a lot of cardio. Clover is, like, it's getting better and better every day in my opinion. I'm getting more stamina and I'm smiling a lot more. I'm not like looking tired and angry, which is good. I know, yeah. yeah so. I can like smile through it now, Yeah, which, which is nice. Like it's getting more comfortable. I think everybody's just more comfortable with it too. My heart isn't racing and not like choking on my own like, <laughs> saliva and stuff, so, which no. is really good. It definitely tests me every single time we do it. Um, I actually hate close, like I hate closer. I could not say that I liked closer. It's draining. It's exhausting. Every year when I do closer, actually, I don't know if I should say that. Sometimes, I, sometimes I pee, I pee my pants. Honestly, I was fully expecting us to come in today and spend 30 minutes on it. Nope. It was like. We literally did it twice, twice full out, done, which was awesome. One, two, three. We, we hate closer! <laughs> I want my mommy. <laughs> Come on, Hayden, let's go. Like, I was stressed about senior dance. I felt like we didn't get a whole lot of, like, outside practice time on it. And it was a lot of just trial and error on the stage. Um, but like at the end of it, we just ended up relaxing. It's like if we make a mistake, like who, who's going to judge us, you know, so. And then the music started and I totally forgot that I started the ripple. <laughs> so that happened. I think that happened multiple times actually that I just forgot. Also because it was very similar to my squad dance and I was like, I don't start that one. But I start senior, so. Oop, shout out to, shout out to y'all. My favorite dance is senior because I get to dance with nine of my favorite people and I just love doing it and I feel so happy while I'm dancing in it. Every day was just a little bit bittersweet but because every day we got a little bit closer to our final bow and so I just tried to cherish all the moments and take it all in stride and just know that that was my last time dancing. I also just loved the little speech that Wallace gave us before uh, Friday and Saturday night, she gave us a little speech both times. And her words were just so impactful. She was talking about like, you will never have this moment right here ever again. Like soak it in. You will never dance with like this exact group of girls again. Soak it in. This team will never be like replicated and like this moment will never happen again. And like that just struck a chord with me. This will never happen again. This moment is like right here, right now. Enjoy it. Don't let it go anywhere else. And then I kind of got to give a little pep talk and then we chanted on. That was really special. I didn't want to cry.
the last few weeks have definitely been like really weird not dancing anymore because it's just been something that's so much a part of my life and it's always been a part of my life for as long as I can remember and so to not be dancing anymore like just period point blank not dancing anymore has been really strange and like my body feels better because I'm not constantly falling or stretching and like it's been nice to relax but it's also like a really bittersweet moment because I'm like that's something that was played such a huge part in who I am. I'm feeling kind of sad that my high school dance experience is over because um, Pace Setters was like so much more than just like a dance team. It was like my friends and not being able to see them every day has been like really hard and um, I can't get my energy out at practice so I don't know it's just been difficult. I am not dancing in college. It's expensive. <laughs> I'll probably take studio or something, or like classes. I'm feeling sad because I know that I won't be dancing in college um, and that even though I like only got to do like one year of high school, like dance, it was, it was fun while it lasted. I'll still be dancing around in my house though. <laughs> I still have not cried. I think it'll hit me at banquet, but for now, it's kind of like a feeling of it's time. Like, I've had my run, I've had these past four years, they've been a good four years, and it just kind of feels like, you know, chapter's closing, new one is opening, I'm just kind of ready. It doesn't mean I'm not going to miss all of those moments, but I, I do feel like I'm ready to move on. And also, I'm dancing in college, so it doesn't feel like the end of dancing for me, it's just dancing at school with these girls. Knowing that my high school dance experience is over is a little overwhelming because I've been dancing since I was very little, but I will still continue to dance in college and be so buff because I want to stay fit in college. I feel it's like half an hour. I feel bittersweet. I feel sad, but also like relieved. My body is, I can't handle like the waking up at 7.30 in the morning, dancing every day. It's, I can, my body can't do it anymore. But I'm sad to like not be able to like dance with my friends on the stage and like just be with them 24 seven, which is hard, but my body is done. It's been like every day for the past four years and now I don't know when I'm gonna dance again. I mean, I could do a studio, but I'm not gonna have a team. So I would say just like surreal because I don't get to come in every day and be there with the team that I've been with since you know, the beginning of this year and some of us since freshman, sophomore year, we've it's been the same group of us. So I think it's gonna be interesting. Interesting to say the least. Most of my life I've been dancing and like, I might still take a few, couple of classes or something, but yeah, it's basically my whole entire everything. And now I don't do it anymore, so it's gonna be really weird. I feel, um, it's kind of a bittersweet, because like, I'm glad I'm graduating. You know, I, I had my time and I, I served it. I don't know how to handle it. I don't know how to react. I don't know how to move on in life, because all I've known is dance. Um, so it's just very weird to me that I'm no longer dancing. I'm not dancing in college because I think I need a little bit of a break. Um, I've been dancing on a team for 12 years now, so I feel like I need just some time to learn how to live without dance, I guess, and like being put under like the rules of dance. Like I love dance, but there's a lot of like factors that come with it, like time. And I think I need to learn, like experience college first before I do anything with dance. I may take a few classes, but that's about it. It's been such a big part of my life for the past four years. I've been doing the same thing over and over, seeing like the same people doing the same thing, making friendships and they're kind of like, all going away and I'm not dancing in college so it's kind of like a bittersweet moment to be like this is like it since like I've started dancing so I feel really sad but excited in a way because now I get to see all like my lifelong friends grow into the people that they're going to be when they're older. This is the class of 2023 signing off.